top tech analyst Dan Ives says the AI gold rush is just like the dot-com boom, but it's a 1995 moment, not 1999. Big difference in the two. Uh, this is a very interesting article basically stating that the uh, AI buzz that's going around, the AI hype is causing some bumps in the stock market in a good direction uh, when it comes to stock in tech and different things. Uh, but is this, if it is a 1995 moment, are we going to ever experience a 1999 moment? For those of you that don't know, 1995 uh, tech uh, companies or uh, webs, the dot com bubble uh, was happening and companies were getting way highly evaluated. Everything was going crazy as everyone talked about. This was the new wave of technology. This was the future of business. All things, very, very true statements at the time. Uh, I think a lot of people would say, and I may be off on this, but a lot of people would say that just people didn't understand the technology and didn't understand how it worked. And so 1999 came around and the dot com bubble popped and a a lot of people lost a lot of money and a lot of companies went out of business and a lot of tech startup gurus uh, in the industry talk about their experiences being in that moment uh, there's a lot of people out there that were CEOs and leaders of many different companies at that time uh, when that bubble happened and the struggle that they had to survive and the shift it caused in the tech industry. It's a very interesting thing, uh, but without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Ever since the release of OpenAI's new chatbot, ChatGPT, in November, investors have been enamored with AI and its potential to revolutionize the world's economy. Hopes for a future with increased productivity and lower costs as AI tools are rolled out to the masses have helped to lift markets in 2023 despite stubborn inflation, rising interest rates, and consistent uh, recession predictions from economists. After dropping more than 30% in 2022, the tech-heavy NASDAQ composite has recovered nearly all of its losses, gaining over 28% year-to-date, and the S&P 500 is now up more than 12%. While some on Wall Street question whether stocks can continue their run of uh, form in the second half of the year, pointing to stretched valuations or stretched valuations in the big tech names and AI plays that have led uh, the rebound so far, Wedbush's uh, top tech uh, analyst Dan Ives argues it's just the beginning of the AI gold rush. Many of the tech skeptics will point to today as a 1999 moment a la on the verge of the dot-com bubble collapse given the significant move in tech valuations. We strongly disagree, the veteran analyst wrote in a Monday research note. While valuations in tech will be front and center, we continue to believe AI is driving the tech center to a 1995 moment with a long runway of growth ahead that we have not seen since the 1990s. Uh, the parallels between the dot-com era that began in 1995 and the AI revolution of 2023 are quite striking. Both then and now, experts argued that a new technology was on the verge of reviewing or rewiring, sorry, need to be <laughs> need to be able to read better, uh, the global economy. Stocks were coming off a down year and economists and business leaders were worried about the future of the U.S. because of its rising national debt. Books like the January 1993 title Bankruptcy 1995 became bestsellers in the early 90s, warning of a coming economic crash due to America's deficit crisis, which of course never came. Uh, and so anyway, so they, they talk about the history there, despite the fears and pessimistic predictions between 1995 and the collapse of the dot-com bubble in 2001, the NASDAQ composite rose over 800% as the economy remained stable and investors looked to profit from the rise of the internet. Um, so he's saying, so this is what he's saying. He's saying, I believe that we could be seeing a similar pattern now, arguing the development of AI represents something akin to the internet, calling it the fourth industrial revolution. He predicts the tech sector stocks will soar another 10 to 12% in the second half of the year alone, as investors recognize that AI is an 800 billion opportunity for tech firms and monetization has already uh, begun. So he's so he's saying that this is going to rise and it's going to be more like 1995. That's basically what they're saying. He's talking about how there's a long runway ahead, that there's more investments to come. Um, I think there's a lot of stuff in that. I'm, I'm curious to see uh, you know, what you guys think in the comments section below. Do you think he's right that this is going to continue to build and build and build? Uh, I um, Here's my thoughts on it because I, I understand what he's saying from that point. And I am way out of my depth as far as predicting stocks and all that. I am not a financial advisor. I don't operate in that world at all. Um, so I'm just looking basically at what we're seeing with the uh, amount of people that uh, are uh, interested in 
uh, the term AI. And the reason why I say the term AI is because I have a couple of friends that uh, work for tech companies, um, tech startups that are constantly talking to investors, talking about gain, gaining capital, uh, putting on pitch decks and presentations to gain capital. And, uh, you know, and I, the, some of my friends were there for the meta phase where all of a sudden every uh, investor wanted to talk about meta and the metaverse and how their tech company was going to uh, be related to the metaverse. And it just became this thing where all of a sudden, if you could make up a reason why your company was going to take part in the metaverse, uh, you would get way more investors wanting to talk to you and the likelihood of you being able to garner capital uh, would, went way, way up. Uh, and that, that happened for like a minute, like it just, you know, and then all of a sudden it stopped. Uh, and now all of a sudden, uh, that same, those same people are telling me now, now the investors, if you could make, if you could create a, a business plan that, that involves AI in some way, or talks about how you're going to utilize the AI or even generative AI, uh, for your business model, all of a sudden investors are willing to talk to you and wanting to, uh, you know, are, are more likely to throw money at you. Um, and so <clears throat> we're seeing that happen on the back end. I understand that's more anecdotal, uh, but I think it, it, it reigns true in a lot of cases. I really do. Uh, I think a lot of people see it because there's a craze right now for AI. I guess the question is, 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 is that runway as long as he thinks it is? I mean, there's a big difference between 2023 and 1995. Um, because you, with the metaverse thing, the, the reason why I bring up the metaverse thing is, is that craze, that bubble bursted way faster uh, than this um, dot com bubble that happened in 1995. And, that, and I think the reason for that is the access to information that we have now, the access to constant interviews. I mean, you can hear directly from Sam Alton, Altman. Uh, you know, all the time. You can hear from uh, OpenAI. You can hear from the people that invested in OpenAI, uh, and you can hear from CEOs, big CEOs of massive companies uh, around the clock. You can hear from them. You can follow them on social media. You can get information much, much faster uh, than what you could get in 1995. And I just think the crazes and the trends that we've seen, uh, you know, um, uh, with cryptocurrency, even how that how that craze is just so fast and things consistently change on a day to day basis, sometimes even faster. Uh, the metaverse changed so fast that it did not have an, a, a 1995 to 1999 long runway. Um, and so I just wonder and my thoughts are, I wonder if uh, we might be seeing just as um, just as fa just as fast, if not faster wave of this AI, this generative AI movement, because it is very similar to the dot com bubble in the sense that I believe a lot of people don't even know what it is yet. And when I say people, obviously companies like Microsoft and all of these big guys that they lead here, I've said that Microsoft and NVIDIA remain the clear market leaders in AI, but he also believes Google, Oracle, Amazon, Salesforce, uh, Plantier, uh, MongoDB, Apple, IBM, Meta, Snowflake, all these other companies um, uh, will benefit as the technology advances. Yeah, obviously they understand how it works. I mean, they, you know, Microsoft, especially investing the amount of money they did in open AI, uh, you know, so they understand what they're doing. They understand how all that operates. I'm not saying they don't, but the masses, the people and in, the investors on in mass, I mean, you would um, be surprised at how many uh, tech investors are out there, uh, you know, in these uh, VC firms and all this stuff that really don't understand the technology, but will salivate at the mouth if you say the right words, you know, such as, you know, at the time it was the metaverse, how the company would operate in the metaverse or how the company will operate now in AI and generative AI. They, they just, they'll salivate over it. And they're not, not everybody's getting funded. Those guys are working hard. I don't want to, I don't want to take away from that. There's a lot of people working very, very hard to find the capital to, to start, start their companies. And it's not, I don't want to paint it as some pictures as there's a bunch of idiots out there that, that, um, uh, that will invest in companies and just throw money at you no matter what. It's a very difficult industry. It's very cutthroat. And my friends are working very, very hard uh, to get their companies funded. But uh, the thing is, is that um, the thing is, is that uh, the, the fact remains is that AI and generative AI have become the uh, f uh, main focal point of a lot of the conversations uh, they want to know. Uh, they want to make sure that you're on you're on board because everyone believes that this is a new wave that's going to alter business forever. I mean, I literally just got a comment the other day of someone, um, you know, kind of dis disagreeing with my statement on one of my videos on the basis of, you know, well, this is a paradigm shift. And it's like, look, I understand that. And just like this guy, uh, Dan Ives, you know, talking about the paradigm 
the par the paradigm shift of uh, generative AI as it relates to the dot com bubble in that way because it was a paradigm shift. Like business did change forever, but it but the thing is, is at the time when everyone jumped in on it and started throwing money at it, no one really understood how the technology worked, and so there were companies that were formulated. Just like just like what we're seeing here, where it was like, yeah, no, we we were part we, we we use websites, we utilize this new technology, and people just threw money at it and got tons of investors, and then the companies really never had any real business plan or ability to even be profitable. And I'm not saying that that's what OpenAI is doing. That's not that I'm not saying that at all. I'm not saying that any of those companies are doing that. All, all I'm saying is is that I just wonder, is it possible? And maybe you guys can correct me in the comment section below, but is it possible? that in the same way this guy's saying we're experiencing a 1995 moment the dot-com boom and the dot-com bubble um is are we going to experience that exact same moment in ai where in 1999 or 2001 everything collapses because all these companies formulated and all this money was thrown out and there was really no business model for a lot of these organizations that were claiming they were going to use generative ai in their business model um, and that, you know, no one really understands the tech. And is it possible that that moment is going to come a lot faster? Like it's going to happen a lot faster because historically in recent history, uh, we can see that stuff has moved so fast. It moves so fast. And literally tomorrow, guys, we could wake up and something could come out about generative AI uh, that, you know, just completely swipes the rug out from under it. I mean, even just the hallucination aspect of it. Like that's where you got to pay a lot of, of attention to right now. Like have they dealt with the hallucinate hallucination, AI hallucination aspect, you know, the generative AI, just making up information at random. Uh, have they dealt with that? Are they able to deal with that? Because that's a big, that's a big deal if they can't fix it, which I do think they will. Um, I do think they will, but you know, if they don't, then there you go. I mean, stuff, little things like that could swipe the rug out from under it. Uh, but I'm curious what you guys think. Uh, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, please take the time to like the video, share it, subscribe, all that good stuff. It helps with the algorithm. What do you guys think? Do you think we are in the dot com phase, or do you think this is a whole different thing and we're moving into a whole new segment of of our reality? I'm really curious because um, I go back and forth. Like I can see. With some of these guys that are that are disagreeing are saying like this is not going to be a big deal and then i could also see why some of the guys that are building on the hype are saying what they're saying like it's probably why it's such a complicated situation that's probably why there's so many different opinions out there um but you know do i believe that ai is you know the antichrist and taking over no i don't i don't i don't think that i don't think, i haven't jumped on that bandwagon yet but maybe i maybe i will maybe i'll find the right uh, guru to tell me that there's something way more sinister here. Uh, but I do think that this is a, a very interesting moment. And I think the, the chips are up in the air as far as where it could go. I, you know, I do see signs of, um, it kind of having the rug pulled out from under it. But then I also see where people are saying that, you know, this could massively change, uh, the, the workforce and all this kind of stuff. I just don't think it's going to be as crazy as everyone's proclaiming, like, you know, if you work a blue collar job or you work a, a you know a, a, an office job, the likelihood of your job getting replaced uh, by AI is very very slim, in my opinion. But I do think that in the future, uh, the more companies ad adapt to this, if it if it's able to do what they're claiming it's able to do, um, and the hallucination the hallucination aspect, sorry, is dealt with, then I think um, I think we could see a slow in hiring. I think that's how it's going to happen. Not so much people getting laid off. I think people get laid off in the tech industry because those guys are always the first to embrace new tech, obviously. Duh. Um, and that's what you're seeing. Um, but I don't, I don't know if, you know, like if you're working at a law firm down in New York city, the likelihood of you getting let go because AI can take your job. I think that's very, very slim, uh, but that's just my thoughts. That's my opinions. And I could be wrong. I totally could be wrong. And that's why I want to know what you guys think in the comments section below. Uh, thanks for sticking around as long as you have, and I will catch you guys in the next one.